There's a lot of talk about purpose, uh, having a purpose for your life, having a purpose-driven life. I think Rick Warren's book is like the number two bestseller of all time behind the Bible. Um, I think that's great for some people. Uh, the problem I have with the purpose is that it approaches life as a puzzle. And what happens when you put a puzzle together usually is you search for the edges and you look for those corner pieces. And before you know it, you've created this box and you spend the rest of your life trying to figure out, you know, piece by piece what fits in the box. Uh, and that's a real limiting thing. It creates a lot of anxiety and a lot of tension because I'm always asking, you know, does this fit my purpose? Uh, so that's why I really challenge, you know, our teams and our people of, you know, be careful with that. Because you would ask me what my purpose was when I started my career, I started at EDS. I would have been like, you know, to be a captain of EDS, you know, uh, because that was my perspective. That's the only box I could draw. But, but if anything, you know, life has been very different than, you know, what I could have imagined at 22 years old. It's taken lots of turns. It's went from engineering to, you know, uh, Procter & Gamble career and manufacturing in a plant to, you know, greeting card business to advertising. And I could never have figured that out from a purpose-driven world. Uh, I'm very different than that. I really think the better way to approach it is to think about life as a mosaic. And the difference between a mosaic and a puzzle is pretty simple. Mosaics start from the center and they go out. Um, and you take each piece and you ask the question, you know, is, you know, how does this fit? Not does it fit? Uh, so you don't, you're not anxious about that because you know, every time I've asked people, you know, especially those that are, that are further along in their career, you know, could you have scripted this journey? Could you have created this purpose? And I say, no way. Um, and you ask them, you know, how did you get to that next stage? And almost inevitably, it's through a relationship. It's through people. You know, our lives develop through people and through contacts and networks more than they come through carefully scripted purpose statements uh, that drive their life. I've had many, you know, 28, 29 year old kids come into my office uh, and say, you know what, Andy, I don't know if I should be doing shopper marketing the rest of my life. It just doesn't feel like it's my purpose statement in life. Um, and it's pretty challenging uh, for them to, to think through that. But once they grab a hold of this idea that life's a mosaic, and this piece you're in right now could be really important to, you know, the picture that, that will become your life, uh, there's a release of tension and a real allowing, uh, there's a real um, connectedness to the moment where people can then commit themselves to be all that they can be in that moment because there's no pressure, there's no worry to kind of fit into that box that becomes, you know, life's box versus life's mosaic.